Have you ever wondered why they put this metal collar on the outside of a DC motor? Well, if you have, stick with me because I'm going to explain why. Let's jump into it together. Welcome to this episode of Shop Talk by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I'm going to explain to you guys what this ring is, what it's about, and we're going to do some testing. So in a prior episode, I asked you, the viewers, hey, what's this ring? And I got an answer. It's a flux ring. Not to be confused with a flux capacitor, unfortunately, but it is a flux ring. And what it's designed to do is to go around this DC motor and compress the magnetic field to increase the torque. Now, there's a lot of discussion out there that that um, adding the flux ring actually decreases the speed but increases the torque and removal increases the speed but reduces the torque. Either way, what I want to do is some experimentation. Does this really work? Is it just a placebo? I don't know. So we're going to do some testing. So I'm going to set up a test jig, so I'll be back in a second. Through the magic of video, we're back. I've got it set up in this 3D printed test jig. I, I got the files for this out on Thingiverse. I think this, I believe this is a triple five 12 volt motor. And I've reinstalled the flux ring on the motor in here. And what I have is my electromagnetic meter. So we're going to be measuring both electric field and magnetic field here. So I've got a 12 volt power supply here. I've got this set up. So let's go ahead, plug it in and watch what happens on the meter. Okay. So the motor's running, and we're running about uh, about 93, roughly in the, somewhere between 70 and, and 93 volts per meter. Um, so, but also, but look at the um, number of te micro Teslas, almost nothing. Now this is the important one. So we have our baseline set with regards to uh, with the flux ring. So I tell you what. Let's take a little break. I'm going to remove the flux ring and then we're going to test it without. Let's jump over there. All right, so now we're back. I've removed the uh, flux ring from the motor. I'm going to set it right over here. I'm going to re engage the power and let's go ahead and watch the meter. One of the things you'll notice is that we see, even at this distance, which is quite a bit, a big change in the number of Teslas or micro Teslas, which we're seeing. Also, the um, you know, roughly, it's it's averaging a little bit higher on the volts per meter, uh, but as you can see, there's a clear difference in the amount of magnetic field, which is now extended out past the motor once we remove this collar. So obviously, this collar does do something with regards to compressing the magnetic field. So, anyways, I thought this was a little bit of an interesting experiment. And this is one of the things I like about doing videos like this is because I learn from you guys and then I can come back and share some things. So if you're ever wondering what this ring does on a motor, it is a flux ring and it compresses the magnetic field to increase the torque. And as we've just shown, it actually works. So with that, if you found it interesting, hey, smash that thumbs button. Uh, don't forget, Swag Shop's up there, subscribe's over there. Hit me up in the comments below if you got some other cool ideas that I can test with this. Look forward to hearing from you guys. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all.